Welcome, and thank you for participating in this most unique event. Like the rest of 2020, our LMEA Professional Growth Conference will provide a different experience for all of us. For many decades, we have gathered, hugged, shared, and celebrated music education at our annual conference. Unfortunately, it became clear during the summer months of 2020 that an in-person event was not feasible for the fall semester. It would have been easy to simply cancel conference for the year, but the can-do spirit of our organization prevailed. An alternative plan quickly emerged. This is just one example of how our LMEA board is committed to the creation of meaningful opportunities for our music teachers and students during these challenging times. When beginning the journey towards a completely virtual conference, we had very little understanding of the monumental task before us. But here we are, and you are going to be amazed with the final product. The theme for this year's conference is What Music Means to Me. Seven months ago, in my opening message, I emphasized that you are LMEA, we are LMEA. This association is a collection of dedicated, talented, and purposeful teachers. We are bonded by the power of music and education. LMEA is more than a membership fee paid to participate in LMEA activities. LMEA is an opportunity to grow, learn, and achieve. It is also about advocacy, mentorship, discovery, unity, and inclusion. Despite all the difficulties the pandemic has brought, there have been some positive byproducts. We have certainly learned that we are all in this together. While each of us has a different story to tell in how we've adapted and adjusted, we have also become much better at sharing our thoughts, our ideas, and methods with one another. Most of us have greatly enhanced our skills in the use of technology for instruction, evaluation, and auditioning of students. We have been stretched and strengthened by the many obstacles we have overcome. The COVID experience has also pushed our organization to rethink many of its processes and practices. The need for advocacy became a clear priority. The formation of the Louisiana Advocacy Leadership Force has truly changed the manner in which LMEA is perceived and embraced by educational and political leaders. The opening address to our conferences provided by Louisiana's First Lady, Donna Edwards, is evidence of how far our advocacy has become in a very short period of time. Unity has also become a, an essential priority. One step in achieving greater unity has been in acknowledging the need to address long-standing issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion within our organization. A committee has been formed and a plan of action is being implemented. As I have emphasized before, we are stronger together. Likewise, the pandemic pushed us to increase our collaboration with national organizations such as NAFME and the National Federation of High Schools. In doing so, we have built a much stronger alliance with leaders across the country. We all understand that the road ahead is long and bumpy. It is highly doubtful that 2021 will be a true return to the normalcy we remember from the past. We can't live in the past. We must plan for the future while tackling the present. We must be strong. We must be unified. We must continue to blend patience and persistence. It is up to us to keep music education alive in Louisiana. LMEA will help you in every way it can, but you must also help LMEA in every way you can. I hope you have a wonderful conference.
Hello, and thank you for inviting me. As a big supporter of music and arts education, it's a pleasure to join you all. You know, as a former elementary music teacher who has seen firsthand the power of incorporating music and arts into the curriculum, I know these courses are necessary to help educate the whole child. You know, the very first initiative I developed as part of our Louisiana First Foundation was Teach MAM, and that stands for Music, Art, and Movement. You know, one of the things about MAM in the South, we love to say, yes ma'am, no ma'am, thank you ma'am, it's a sign of respect. And as a former military wife, ma'am is also a sign of respect, using it. And so uh, respecting the arts is one thing I am most passionate about. We all know that studies show that these classes help children stay more focused, stay in school, and graduate at a higher rate. They help educate the whole child. And of course, I'm preaching to the choir. Something I'm really excited about is our Teach Ma'am ambassadors across the state who were collaborating with me. Mickey Smith Jr. from Sulphur is our music ambassador. Carolyn Scalfiano from Pineville is our arts ambassador. And Kira Bradford from Doosan is our movement ambassador. You know, we recently held a virtual meeting and had a great time sharing ideas. Lastly, the foundation is announcing a special grant program to help schools that have been impacted by Hurricanes Laura and Delta. These grants of up to $1,000 will be awarded to replace lost instruments and supplies for arts education classes. You can look for more details in a future edition of my Love in Louisiana blog at louisianafirstfoundation.com. I know that this year has been especially challenging due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but your meeting the challenges and continuing to help your students succeed. You are to be commended. Thank you for your work and love of arts education and thank you for thinking out of the box and making sure students have access to arts education. Keep up the good work and God bless. for everything that they continue to do for the students and the citizens of New Orleans. And I want you to enjoy these instruments that have been gifted to you at this time. I'm honored to be here because I'm a former music teacher and I'm just so supportive of you and what you're doing in this community. What a joy just to see the sparkle in their eyes. You know, one of the young ladies said to me that her grandmother played a saxophone. It confirms that the legacy of music is so important. VH1 Save the Music has really taken the lead in restoring music back into the state of New Orleans. And I didn't understand the importance of music in a child's life. We're giving kids a sign of hope and also a sign of you matter. For kids who have never experienced music or don't understand what music entails of to finally embrace that, we are opening up a can of unlimited opportunities. Thank you, VH1 Save the Music!